Have you ever bumped into someone you knew and you just couldn't quite place them? Well, that's the constant reality for Brad Pitt, who's recently opened up about facial blindness, also known as prosopagnosia. In a recent GQ article, Pitt said he has difficulty telling friends and loved ones apart, saying people often consider him to be aloof, inaccessible or self-absorbed. It's interesting, isn't it? So to tell us more about this rare condition, we're joined by science guru Dr Carl. Dr Carl, good morning to you. Sylvia, Dr Lee. Uh, right. What is facial blindness? The inability to recognise one human face as different from another one. And the worst case I came across was when I was with the kids in primary school soccer and I was standing next to another unknown dad and I said, oh, that's my kid over there. Where's your kid? And he said, I don't know. I said, oh, what do you mean? He said, I can't recognise him when he's wearing a uniform oh. and it's only when he comes up to me and says, hello, dad that I can recognise him. And that, that was probably one of the worst cases I'd ever come across. Wow. Wow. So research says it affects one in 50 people, which is a huge amount of people. So what impact does it have on their day-to-day -day lives? Uh, you get embarrassed about forgetting people's names. And so I've worked out little workarounds, like trying to uh, remember how people walk, like you've got a because rolling we gait. We should point out, you have you suffer from sure. this. Sure. Yeah. says so on Wikipedia, so it must be true. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I discovered I, I had it when I was in first-year medicine, uh, age 32 as a mature age student with my fellow students just straight out of high school and two of them came up to me one day after we'd been together for months and months and they said can you pick the difference between us and I said no I said what's my name he said John I said, what well, the other guy said well, your name's John I said look hard can you pick the difference I said and they're both tall young males with red hair and I said oh you've got a beard uh. and I really couldn't pick that and they were sort of identical because they had red wow. hair to me so, in another case, I was um, at a three-day comedy conference and there was this guy I thought I knew. And I came up to him on the third day and I said, have we met? And he said, yeah, I'm Damien Davis. We've just finished shooting and completing our six-month series of Sleek Geeks. You've been with me five days a week for the last couple of months. And as he said that, it was as though his face unblurred, like there was a cloud wow. between him and me. And as he said it, I said, oh, Damien, yeah, it's you. So, Dr Carr, we've known each other for years. We yeah. used to bump into each other around the corridors of Triple J. And you remembered me every time. So have you found workarounds, ways of ways of dealing mm. with this? Well, I know who's in there. I've got a little crib sheet. That person really? sits in that chair. That person sits over there. That guy broke and, his leg. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I'll look up things and I'll try to look by their body. They're tall, they're slim, they walk with a limp. I go for anything <laughs> I can find. I, I try to go for any facial characteristic or any... The, the sound of their voice is a big one as well. Interesting. So I have to, but I have to work at it. Yeah. So with, uh, with Brad Pitt speaking about this publicly, mm. do you think this helps to raise awareness and understanding? Well, we've all got our little problems in life and that's a fairly small one, yeah. um, but it makes it not feel isolated. It's good not to feel isolated. And in my case, I didn't know I had it until I was 32 when I couldn't wow. pick the difference between these two fellow students. Mm. And also, I think it sends a message not to get offended when someone doesn't know your name. Mm. There could be something else going on. Ah, so I've worked it out. I'm, I'm, if I'm with somebody, I'll say, you know, go through this and they say, hi, I'm Fran, what's your name? Yeah. <laughs> so, Listen up. Exactly. And then I can say, oh, yes, it is you, Dr Tilly. Lovely <laughs> to meet you again, Dr Tilly. Say it a few times, lock it in, Dr Sylvia. Yeah. Well, it's fascinating. We really appreciate your insights on it, Dr Carl. Thanks yeah, for coming in and chatting with us. And we won't be offended next time you don't remember us. I'm sorry. Not but at impressed all. when you do. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. Uh,